Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about SoFi Technologies SOFI stock. In this video, we're going to be analyzing this article titled, SoFi Stock Analysis, The Fintech Powerhouse Wall Street is Wrong About. So I'm going to be talking about why Wall Street is wrong about this company and my long-term plan for this particular stock. So for more videos just like this one, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, and without further ado, let's get right into it. It. If you didn't know already, SoFi Technologies is a fintech company or a financial technology company that essentially operates as a digital bank. They have a very user-friendly app which allows consumers and customers access to all sorts of various financial services and financial products, all from the touch of their fingertips. In general, the latest news about SoFi Technologies, ticker symbol SOFI, has been relatively positive. But even with all of this positivity, their share price is still trending downwards. This is even despite the company beating on their quarterly estimates in regards to their most recent earnings report, but yet despite this, the company's share price still is trending downwards. I think the first thing that you should be aware of is that many people are betting against this company because 17.6% of their shares are sold short, meaning that investors are betting that this company will fall in their share price as time goes on. This is just one of the many reasons why Wall Street and many other investors are suggesting a further downside for this stock. But I personally believe that they are wrong, and here's why. When we look at this company's financials and overall fundamentals, we see this company is doing quite well. Their gap earnings per share came in at two cents, which actually beat their forecasts, which originally called for their EPS to come in at just one cent per share. This means that they had a 100% beat in regards to their EPS, which is phenomenal news for this company. Company. But the news gets even better, because their net revenues came in at $580.65 million, which was above analysts' consensus estimates across the board, which is just more great news for this company. Lastly, the cherry on top is in terms of their future outlook, to where SoFi Technologies slightly raised their full year revenue guidance and their earnings guidance. However, the problem here is that it wasn't as bullish as investors wanted it to be. The real problem here is that people are overhyping SoFi Technologies, to where even if it gets good news, it doesn't live up to investors' expectations, which causes the share price to downtrend. In general, you would think with such solid financial results that the market would catch on to this and the share price would start trending upwards. But this has not been the case because investors have maintained a bearish stance on SoFi Technologies. So even after SoFi beat on their revenue forecast and they beat on their earnings forecast and they gave more bullish full year guidance in regards to both their earnings per share and their revenue, News, the company still fell short according to investors because again they have an unrealistic expectation for this company so regardless about what SoFi would have brought in it most likely would have fallen short of their expectations regardless. This means that this company is in a very tough spot because when investors get into this type of mentality honestly they are just setting themselves up for heartbreak. However there is good news here and the good news comes in the form of a Mizuho analyst named Dan Dolev. This particular analyst has been bullish on SoFi Technologies SOFI share price for quite a while now, and he recently reiterated his very positive view with a price target of $12 per share over the next 12 months. Right now, SoFi stock trades between $6 to $7 per share, so if the company could skyrocket up to $12 per share over the next 12 months, that would be phenomenal news for shareholders. This analyst is very bullish because despite the macroeconomic environment being quite volatile right now, over the long term, SoFi Technologies looks like a pretty strong bet, and here's what he means. The article goes on to highlight how the lending growth may not be too impressive right now, but investors can rest assured because eventually macroeconomic changes will happen and once this trend changes to the positive, this is going to positively impact SoFi Technologies and the respected share price. SoFi's business has already been humming along at an above average rate in regards to their growth, so if they can just continue that pace over the next few years, this company is going to be sitting very pretty. But what investors in my opinion should really focus in on is their profitability. They are incrementally growing their revenue growth and that will then reflect positively on their earnings per share. Because even sell-side negative bearish analysts have a forecast for their earnings per share that is nearly triple next year's overall EPS, which is 23 cents per share. This means that SoFi Technologies' earnings per share can literally triple over the next few years, up to 23 cents, which is great news for this company. But the news gets even better, because there are forecasts from now until 2025 
Five that believes that SoFi Technologies could bring in an EPS of 36 cents per share for the entire year. Remember, just recently, they brought in two cents, just two cents on the positive side for the most recent quarter. So if they can grow that two cents per quarter up to 36 cents per year, this is an astounding growth rate that investors really should be paying attention to. But there is a problem with this, because right now SoFi may seem rather pricey considering that they are trading at 88.3 times their forward earnings. However, analysts do believe that this metric will plummet downwards, which is actually great news for investors, because over the next few years, they believe that SoFi's earnings could scale up to $1 per share. This would radically push their forward earnings multiple downwards, which makes their company's stock a better buying opportunity. And that's why this particular analyst from Mizuo believes that SoFi Technologies could easily reach at $12 per share over the next year, and that's why he thinks that investors should consider buying the stock and adding it to their portfolio. In my personal opinion, I I do think that SoFi Technologies is a very good company, except I'm not totally sold on that $12 price target. However, I do believe that the company is going to be worth more in the future than it is today, which yes, does mean that it is a good buying opportunity in most instances. But always make sure to do your own research, and don't forget to count the variables that are specific for you and your personal portfolio. And with that being said, don't forget to go ahead and annihilate that like button right now. Subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you in the next YT video.